Hey everyone, it's Riley. Today I'll be showing you how to make three hamster boredom breakers. These are all, of course, very simple to put together, and they're suitable for even lazy hamsters like Norbert here, who doesn't want to work too hard to get his food. So let's start with the first DIY, which is a hanging toy. You'll need some cardboard, twine, toilet paper tube, scissors or a knife to cut out your cardboard, a pencil, and a hot glue gun. First, you're gonna begin with tracing the end of the toilet paper tube onto the cardboard four times. And then you're gonna cut each one of those circles out. Next, you're gonna use your pencil to pierce a hole through the center of each circle. Now we'll take the toilet paper tube and cut it in half. I then cut each of those halves in half again, so you get four pieces. After that's done, take one of the tube slices and one of the cardboard circles, and insert the cardboard circle into the tube so it covers up one end. Then we'll just put some little dots of hot glue into the corners to secure everything. Now take a length of twine, mine is around 30 inches long, and make a double knot in one end. Then thread one of the cardboard cups you made onto the string. We want the opening to be facing up, by the way. Make another knot a couple inches up the string, and then repeat with the remainder of the cardboard cups. And that's it, the boredom breaker is done. You can hang this up in your hamster's cage and put some food in each cup for your hamster to find. The next DIY is a woven foraging mat. You'll need a square of cardboard with the dimensions that I'll put on the screen. And 10 strips of cardboard that are 5 inches long and a half inch wide. Also, make sure that the lines in the corrugated cardboard are going vertical, because the strips need to be flexible. You'll also need a hot glue gun. So we're gonna start out by gluing five of the cardboard strips to one side of the square, evenly spaced from each other. To make the weaving process easier, bend all the cardboard strips so that they are flexible. Now we'll take a cardboard strip and weave it into the square frame. You're going to move under, over, under, over, and then under again. Then glue the ends to the side of the square frame. The next strip will move over, under, over, under, and then over again. Keep repeating this pattern with the remainder of the cardboard strips. When you're finished, you'll notice that we have some loose tabs left from those five strips we first glued onto the frame. To finish the boredom breaker, just glue those tabs down. Go ahead and flip over the hamster toy to hide the ends of the strips, and you're done! You can add some hamster food in between the cardboard so your hamster can forage for it. For the last toy, you'll need two 3-inch by 7-inch rectangles of this super thick cardboard. You can usually get these out of packages for furniture. A rectangle with the same dimensions that's made out of your thin, standard cardboard. Three wicker balls. These were advertised as bird toys, but they work just fine for hamsters. I'll put a link in the description for these. A knife to cut your cardboard, a pencil, and a hot glue gun. Using a wicker ball as a guide, sketch out three circles that are slightly larger than it onto one of the thick pieces of cardboard. Now cut those circles out and enjoy this awful transition. Next, we're gonna glue the other piece of thick cardboard onto the bottom of the cardboard with the holes. Mm -hmm. 
And we're gonna cut the three circles out again onto the base layer of cardboard. Okay, honestly, this transition was a little better, but it's still pretty bad. I'm not sure what I was thinking with these. <laughs> Once you're done cutting everything out, take the thin piece of cardboard and glue it to the bottom. Place a wicker ball into each one of the holes, and there you go, this boredom breaker is finished. If you put some food into the holes, your hamster will have to push the wicker balls out of the way in order to get to it. So let's see if my hamster Norbert approves of these toys. Thankfully, each boredom breaker was a big success with him. I didn't even think I would be able to get a video of him enjoying what I made because Norbert does not like my ring light. But apparently, the boredom breakers were good enough for him to put up with being in the light a little longer. Like I always say in my DIY videos, let me know if you plan to make any of these boredom breakers because it's really fun to interact with you guys in the comments. I hope you found these ideas helpful and thank you very much for watching.